today we should be able to finish the practice test. Yeah. We should be able to finish. We have three readings and then your writing to go over. So last time we finished with changing slums. That was the last reading that we did. Mm -hmm. So now we are moving on to section three. Section three. Okay. So the first reading is an email about a volunteer opportunity. So first, do you have any questions about the email, about the content of it? No. Okay, good. So number 27, what is true about Green Zine? Number twenty. Number one, its writers volunteer to help clean the environment each month. Okay, so let's look at the other answers. So its writers volunteer to help clean the environment each month. What are the volunteers doing? What will Miss Pensley be doing? Will she be cleaning? No. What will she be doing? Um, writing for the magazine. Yeah, exactly. She'll be writing for the magazine. So number one, it's writers volunteer to help clean the environment each month. They don't clean. They might clean, but that's not what the volunteers do. So, number two, it's readers pay to read its articles. They pay. Do they pay? Yes. Hmm? Do they pay for the articles for the magazine? No. No. So you can see in the third sentence, it's a non-profit magazine. So we offer all of our material to readers for free every month. Okay. Then third, it's sent to readers in the mail once a month. Is this true? How are the articles sent? Where is the magazine? Is it physical? Can you hold the magazine? Yeah, no. No, why? Where is the magazine? It's on the internet. Exactly, it's on the internet. So answer three, it's sent to readers in the mail once a month. No, that's not the answer because it's not sent. It's not a physical magazine. It's online on the internet. Number four, it does not pay its writers any money. Is this true? It does not pay its writers any money. Is this true? Yes. Yes, it's true. It says in the last sentence, because of this, we ask volunteers to write all our articles instead of hiring paid writers. So a volunteer 
works for free. They don't get money. So yes, the answer is number four. Number four, it does not pay its writers any money. Okay, how about number 28? Why does Miss Hensley want to write for Green Zine? Number four. She, she ought to saw... read it. She saw an interesting article in it last month. Hmm. Maybe, maybe that's true. Maybe she saw an interesting article, but in the email, does it say, oh, you said you saw an interesting article last month? No. No. So maybe it's true, but it doesn't say it in the email. What does Miss Hensley want to do? Why does she want this volunteer job? Number two. Can you read it for me? She wants to get some practical pra practical writing skills. Yep. You can see in the second paragraph, the first sentence, you said in your email that you'd like to write for us because you're interested in the environment and want to get some writing experience. So volunteer jobs, you don't get money. So many people volunteer to get experience. Or sometimes because they're interested in the cause, they want to help. But many times it's to get experience, to later on get a paid job. Because of course, you can't volunteer forever. You need to get some money. So she wants to get some practical, some useful writing skills. Okay, good. And number 29, Pete Merrick asks Miss Hensley to... Number, number two. Mm. Okay, read it. Make a list of products that are good for the environment. Okay, so this list of products. There is a list of products in the email. But who made the list? Did Miss Hensley make the list or will she make the list? Look at the last paragraph. Miss Hensley will. Mm, who who wrote the email? Pete Merrick. Mm -hmm. And Pete Merrick says in the email, I've attached a list of these products to the email. So Pete Merrick wrote a list or he worked with people to make the list and attached it to the email. So that's not Miss Hensley's job. So after she gets the list, what does Pete want Miss Hensley to do? 
What does he want her to do? Fill out the online British application form by June 25. Ah, that's not, you saw the date, June 25th. But he wants her to fill out the application form earlier, before June 25th. After that, what does he want her to do? So after she fills out the application form, what does he want her to do by June 25th? Look at the one, two, three, the third sentence in the last paragraph. Number four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in that third sentence, please choose one to write about. Send in the application form and then we'll send you a free sample. So he wants her to write the article by June 25th, but she has to pick a product to write about. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. And any questions about 3A? No. Okay. Good. So the next paragraph is about, or the next reading is about metal foam. Metal foam. First, do you have any questions about the reading? No. Okay, good. So number 30, traffic accidents are what? Number four, usually caused by drivers who are between the age of 15 and 29. Mm, okay. So go back to the reading and look at that first paragraph. So does it say that accidents are caused by people age 15 to 29? No. No. It says that it's the biggest cause of death for people age 15 to 29. Look at the other answers. So one, leading to more people having dangerous diseases. Two, the main cause of death for people of all ages in wealthy countries. Three, becoming more and more of a problem in developing countries. What do you think is the best answer? Number two. Mm. Is it the main cause of death for all people? No. Mm -mm. Pay attention. So this answer says the main cause of death for people of all ages. Now we know between 15 and 29, yes, that's true. All ages, no. 
So do you think it's number one or number three? Number three. Becoming more and more of a problem in developing countries. Yes. So if you go to that last sentence in paragraph one, while some wealthy countries have reduced the number of traffic accidents in recent years, they are increasing rapidly in developing countries. So there are more and more traffic accidents in developing countries. Yes, so that is the answer. Okay, so developing countries are, what's an example of a developing country? Um, Do you know? No. Okay, it's countries like many countries in Africa, like Southeast Asia, Vietnam, Cambodia, like China is a developing country. The United States and Japan are developed countries. They're already developed. They're wealthy countries. But many places in Southeast Asia, South America, Africa, these are developing countries. Okay. So number 31. What is one problem with most types of metal foam? Number, number three. Read it for me. The steel that is used to make them is not sealed with enough bubbles. <laughs> the steel that, hmm, that, mm -mm. they had bubbles before. So. The problem is not with the bubbles. The problem is with something else. What word does the second paragraph use? What is what was old metal foam? What was it? What was the big problem? Number one. What word is used in the paragraph that made you choose number one? You're correct. That's the answer. What word was used? What's the opposite of strong? Weak. So in the second to last sentence in the second paragraph, Metal foams have been created for some time, but most of them have been very weak. Then the last sentence, this has made it difficult to use them in vehicles. So yes, they are not strong enough. They are too weak to improve the safety of cars. So good, the answer is number one. Okay. 32. What has Afsana Rabie developed? Number four. Quicker, quicker way. Was the problem with speed? Was the problem before with metal foam that we didn't produce it quickly enough? Was the problem with speed? No. What was the problem with? What was the metal foam before? Very weak. Yeah, so it was very weak. 
So the problem wasn't the speed. So look at the third paragraph. Look at the third paragraph. What did what did the scientist do? What did she do? What was the biggest problem for her? Number two, a type of metal foam in which each of the bubbles is the same size. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In that paragraph, it says the problem with earlier metal foams was that the bubbles were various sizes. Some were big, some were small. But in her metal foam, the bubbles are all the same size. They are regular in size. So the foam because, becomes stronger because of this. So yes, the answer is number two. And number 33, what is one possible benefit of Rabier's new material? Number one, it can reduce the damage and injuries that result, result from car crashes. You were very confident about that answer, and you are correct. Yes, of course. The new material, it can help to protect people. It can stop injuries. It can prevent damage to cars. So it sounds like a very good idea. Hopefully this becomes more popular, more common. Okay, so we finished that one. Do you have any questions about metal foam? No. Okay. Last, I think, yes, last reading. Counting every citizen. Any questions? No. Okay. So, number 34. Nowadays in India. Number three, the number of people living in Co. Poverty. Poverty is still high despite economic their area. Mm, progress. No, progress. <laughs> you went to number four, but yes, despite economic progress. Yes, that is the answer in the first, uh, in the second sentence in the first paragraph. Yet, while the country as a whole has grown much wealthier, it still has more poor people than any other country in the world. So India is becoming richer, but there are still very many poor people in India. Okay, perfect. Number 35, what is the purpose of the Unique Identification Authority of India? U-I-D-I-A. U-I-D-A-I. -I. Number two, it gathers basic data about all the citizens of the country. Perfect. In that second paragraph, this is a project to record the identity of every Indian individual in a huge government database. So they're recording the information about every Indian person. Good. All right, two for two. Number 36, what is one benefit of the UIDAI program? Number one, too much money was Purchase. Mm, 36, 36, 36. Mm. Number one, poor Indians can receive money directly from the national government. Yes, good. Poor Indians can receive money directly. So in that third paragraph, it is hoped that the UIDAI will allow individuals to deal directly with the national government. 
Second sentence, for example, the government gives money to people with less than a certain income. So yes, the government would give money directly, which is better. All right, number 37. One concern people have about the UIDAI is that. Number three, it can cause difficult problems if incorrect information is accidentally recorded. Yep, exactly. So in that last paragraph, for example, if a mistake is made when recording the details of an individual, it is extremely difficult to get it corrected and people will be unable to access government services. Good. And the last sentence, or the last question, which of the following statements is true? Number one, the UIDAI helps people show who they are in order to access government services. Good. So for this one, you could go through each answer. Number two, there are fewer poor people. No, we know that's not right. They have the most poor people. Number three, around 93% does not know their date of birth. No, that's not right. 93% had been recorded. They know their date of birth, probably. And number four, the government is worried that the UIDAI will not be as successful. That's not true because that last sentence, the Indian government is confident that it will solve these problems before long and it will be a success. So the answer must be number one. Okay, so you got all of these questions right. That's great. Is there, why was this reading easier for you? Well, um, I, I did a research at school about oh. um, India and so I know a little bit about India. Okay, good. Well, Judy, that section was perfect. You got every answer correct. You did a great job. So do you have any questions? I assume you don't have any questions about this last reading, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So some of the readings, like the first two readings, were trickier because you don't have any background on metal foam, I assume. You, you don't know, you didn't know about metal foam before reading this, right? Yes. So it's something new. So you have to make sure, just read through the answers carefully. Always try to cross out the ones that don't make any sense. So if there's anything like the last question, number 33, what is one possible benefit? Many of those answers don't make any sense. So even if you don't know one correct answer, you can always get rid of some wrong choices. So it should be easier for you. Okay, great. Um, hopefully on the ACAN, you will have many questions that you are confident about, that you have background experience with. That would be great. So, do you have your writing sample for me? Yes. Do you have it typed? Um, I wrote it down on my notebook. Okay. Can you read it to me then? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to type while you read it to me so that I will have it typed. Okay. <clears throat> Go ahead. Yes, I agree. I have two reasons to support this opinion. One is people who uses the internet too much do not spend enough time con communicating with others. I think that there are less people communicating with face-to-face face-to-face 
these days. Can you... <laughs> with others. Sorry, because I'm typing, I... Could you go a little slower? Yeah. Okay, could you start after... One is that people who use the internet too much do not spend enough time communicating with others. After that. A little slower. I think that there are less people communicating with face-to-face -face these days. Second, it is not healthy for you because you may need glasses or contacts for your eyes. In conclusion, I think people should not use the internet very often and talk to people face-to-face -face instead of not using devices to text people. Okay, something like this. Look through what I typed and what you wrote and tell me what's different. Did I, did I make any mistakes? Yes, I agree. I probably made many mistakes. Um, I couldn't see um, after I think. I think people should not use the internet very often and talk to people face to face instead of not using devices to text people. This this part? Yes. Okay. That's almost what I wrote. All right, so let's go to it. So is there a writing? Okay, so it should be between 80 and 100 words. Did you count the number of words that you used? Yes. How many words? Um, 97 words. Okay, so it's a good length. Okay. So let me give you some advice. So yes, I agree. I have two reasons to support this opinion. Good. Great start to your paragraph. One is that people who use the internet too much do not spend enough time communicating with others. Okay. That sentence is good. I think that there are less people communicating with face-to-face -face these days. Okay, so when you use face-to-face, -face, you don't need with. So I think that there are fewer people communicating face-to-face communicating -face these days. So instead of less, fewer is correct. And no with before face to face. There are fewer people communicating face to face these days. There are fewer people. You use the word communicating twice. It's not bad, but if you use a different word other than communicating the second time, it might be better. So if you look up, instead of communicating, you could do meeting, talking, speaking, um, having a conversation, or any other synonym that you can find. So these are some examples. So that second sentence, I, I think that there are fewer people having a conversation face to face these days. That's, of course, well, I guess that would bring you up to 99, maybe. Um, but that's my suggestion. 
Okay. Okay. You use second, but you don't say first. So if you use second, I suggest you say first people who use the internet because then you go second, it is not healthy for you. So that way you have a first and you have a second. Or instead of second, you, you could say, my other reason, idea, example, is that it is, it is not healthy for you, but this way it's longer, it has more words, so that's probably not. So with second, I suggest use first. Okay. So second, it is not healthy for you because you may need glasses or contacts for your eyes. Okay. I would add a little bit more information there. So for example, if you overuse a computer, you may need glasses or contacts for your eyes. Eyes. So you're connecting it back to if you overuse a computer, if you stare at a computer all day, if you use your computer too much, you may need glasses or contacts. So that's connecting it back to your first idea. Okay. And then also, I just, I don't like starting sentences with because. You can, but when I was in school, my teacher told me, don't start a sentence with because. Okay. In conclusion, I think people should not use the internet very oftenly and talk to people face to face and not use devices to text people. Or, sorry, I think people should not use the internet very often and talk to people face to face and not using devices to text people. Is this one sentence? Um, no. No. How did you divide the sentence? Where are the periods for this last part? Between oftenly and and okay okay so in conclusion i think people should not use the internet too frequently or too often oftenly not a word Oftenly is not a word. It's often. So I think people should not use the internet too frequently. Or I think people should not use the internet too often. Either way is okay. It's your choice. Then... Um, for that last sentence, so and talk to people face to face and not use devices to text people. And again, and is not the best way to start a sentence. Instead, you can start with people should not use the intern. Oh, sorry. People should talk to others face to face and not use devices to text people. Maybe and not always use devices to text people. So for this conclusion, it's 
okay to break it into two sentences. I think that's smart. But for that last sentence, I would start with people. People should talk to others, so you don't use people, people. People should talk to others face to face and not always use devices to text people. I think you should add always because sometimes texting is good. Sometimes it's important to text. So, but they shouldn't always text. They should be talking face to face. Okay, okay. So, going back to the beginning. So, to, to type the whole thing. So, yes, I agree. I have two reasons to support this opinion. First, ooh, first, people who use the inter... Internet too much. Do not spend enough time communi communicating with others. I think that there are fewer people talking face to face these days. Second, it is not healthy for you because you may... Oh, nope. How did I... If you overuse a computer, you may need glasses or contacts for your eyes. Then... In... Conclusion, I think people should not use the internet too often. People should talk to others face to face and not always use devices to text people. Okay, so this is how I would write that. So it's all of my advice, all of my changes together. I don't know. Let's see. Let me check how many words it is. <laughs> Let me check just a second. New singing. All right, it is, my computer is very slow. It's 89 words. So that's still where you should be. That's in a good, a good word limit. Do you have any questions about what I changed, about what I did? No, it looks great. Okay. And again, what you wrote was good, but this is just making it perfect, making it the best English. But I could understand exactly what you said. Your words were great, your vocabulary is fantastic, and your message was clear. So, very good job, Judy. Any last questions before our lesson finishes for today? No. Okay. Well then, I I hope that I get to see you again before you take the ACAM. Maybe we can practice a different test or practice more writing. But I I hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday Mon Monday. Today is Monday. Oh. Anyway, I hope you have a great rest of your Monday and have a good day at school tomorrow. Okay? Bye. Bye. Talk to you later.